everybody. Time for another Flipping Tables. My name is Sean. And I'm Tico. And today we're going to be looking at Hibernation, which comes to Kickstarter in April. So have a look for that. We're also going to be talking to the creator of this on Kicking Tables. So we'll put a link right up there above Tico's head. That's the, right there, Tico. That's where it goes. That's where it goes. But uh, let's have a look at Hibernation. This is a... Uh, it's it's sort of a take of Othello, if you know the classic Othello game where you're trying to capture the... The, the board. The board, yeah. with as many of your pieces as possible. These are, uh, are the pieces that come with the game. This is the content of it. We have our, we have our workers and our drones, so each player takes on uh, the role of one or the other one, and you're trying to fill the entire board with your color, or at least the majority, <laughs> the majority of, of it. Uh, there is the... The queen bee, which is what starts at the center of every table. And then there are the specialty tiles, which really change the game as yeah. you start playing through it. There's four different flowers. The flowers, uh, they are all basically do the same thing, that when you play this flower down on one of the bees, any bee around it changes to your, your bee. Uh, so that's really powerful. If your opponent is taking up most of the, the table, this can really turn the tide. You have the beekeeper. If you have that as a special tile in your hand, you can discard him to take any other tile from the discard pile. As you're playing through the game, cards, the tiles will be discarded. Yep. Uh, so you may want to grab one and put that in your hand. You do that with the beekeeper. Then there is the bear. Bruce. Bruce the bear blocks tiles. So uh, as in any Othello, you must have a line of sight between two of your tiles in order to flip those in between. And we'll show you that in just a minute. But Bruce, can you put him down and he will actually put a stopper tile around all of the tiles around him. And that prevents those tiles from being flipped. And it also creates a blocker, meaning that you no longer have line of sight through that tile. And so he's a he's a pretty powerful one. If you have a group of tiles that you don't you want, want your opponent, yeah, you want to protect yeah. them, you throw down Bruce. And finally, there is Buzzkill, which is the insecticide. pesticide, the yeah. insecticide. You put that down. That actually destroys and removes the tiles around it and any other tile that is no longer connected to the queen or to the hive they're all removed Gone. from the table so we all start we would shuffle up these cards here uh, which are the specialty tiles and we would each start this is in a two-player game and this is what they call arcade mode there's actually several modes for this game i feel like the arcade mode which is really what we're going to show you here yeah, today that's... is the better one of all of them it's, um, it's the shorter version too there's the domination which is much you, longer you, yeah you play until you own the entire board which that's right could be a while it could take a while uh and then there's the uh regular mode the basic mode which does not include the special tiles at all yeah uh it's just playing your typical othello and i find with the basic mode it could be game over pretty early um, because uh, there's an there's I found it's, there was an advantage to the first player. There's no turn the tide. No, in which the these cards actually right the tiles actually help. That the, they turn the tide. It can really like man, it's looking out of control, and all of a sudden a flower or an insecticide gets dropped, and yeah, it's a whole different game at that point. So we would get three special specialty tiles that we keep in our hand, and we get a stack of twenty. If you're playing as two players, you get a stack of uh, twenty tiles. They're double sided because you're going to be flipping them uh, into your own color. And you start with the queen in the middle. We'll just move these ones out of the way here. So the queen would start. And Tico, if you want to go ahead and start, we'll play a couple of All rounds. Right. We'll show you what, what this looks like. I'm going to drop a lovely little... Uh, All right, so Tico's going to go there. I'm going to go there. And uh, the play continues back and forth, each of us playing a tile wherever we'd like. We always must start at the... Uh, the very first at, one. The very first one must touch the queen. And then you build your hive out from the queen. Yeah, and then you can you can start dropping a, attached to your opponent's tiles. Right. Not so the now, smartest thing to do. But. Right. So, but as an example, what this shows is if I decide to go here because I am now flanking this uh, this tile, I can flip this tile to be my own, and that's how you you begin to dominate the board to, to fill those out. So, Tico, throw a few more in there. Um, actually. So actually. Actually. Ah, there you go. So I've dropped a flower. So what the flower does now is he immediately owns everything around it. 
And he literally <laughs> owns the board. Owns. Game over. I win. <laughs> Uh, gameplay continues until all of the tiles are laid. As soon as the first player who gets rid of his last tile plays, that signals the the end round, yep. and you, uh, you every other player gets one more one turn. Um, and it, it's a two player game, really. It's it's two players or two teams. If you're playing in teams, you split up and you get ten tiles each. Uh, but you're going to be working together. And I found Tico that uh, even though. Like, you could have this right now, but I could easily turn the tide by using one of these tiles. Like, I have a flower, so I could do the same thing. I could place this and flip them over. Not enough tiles on the board to show that at, mo yeah. at the moment. But if, if it looked something like, let's just throw these out here like this. I'm really winning now. You are totally winning. I'll throw a few of mine out here just as an example. And uh, say we had a, a board that kind of looks like this, okay? I'm, I'm way ahead. Tico was way ahead, way but ahead. I could I could turn that tide easily, similar to what Tico did by placing a flower down. This immediately flips all of these tiles over, and they become mine. Now you're going to want to keep a bit of a space between tiles, just so they're easy to flip over. Yeah, I found that we were knocking the board quite a bit as we we're trying. Yeah, to... but I mean, you, as long as you keep it in mind. And now you can see a re re really good uh, flanking maneuver here. If Tico takes a tile and places it here. He's now flanking me here. And now I own everything again. And here. And what that allows him to do, because he flanked on two sides, he gets an extra special tile. Ooh, that one's a good one. Uh, and so the gameplay continues through until you've played all of your tiles. Yeah. And then once you are all done playing, you add up however many tiles are showing, not including what's under the... The special tiles and tiles cannot be played on top of specials. There are tiles that can get rid of specials. For example, the unless you have one. No, nope, there we go. If I take the pesticide and I play the pesticide right here, that destroys everything around it, including this special tile. And, so all of these cards would be removed and from the game. Anything that would be on the end here that would be then left on its own it, once those cards are gone yes. is also gone. So if this were here, even though the, the, the pesticide removes essentially these, including itself, this is left alone, not attached to the hive, so it is also removed from the game. That could be a game changer right there yeah. as well, that pesticide. It gets rid of a ton of games. If it's built out on a very thin platform, yeah. it could easily get rid of a big chunk of the... the tiles played i have uh i've played this several times now um uh, i was fortunate enough to meet the creator of this and uh, his name is also sean spelt the correct way so that's pretty yeah. awesome and i spoke to him and we're going to be talking to him as well as i mentioned earlier but i actually really enjoy this game i i used to play othello when i was a kid my parents had an othello board and i loved playing that game this takes that idea and really turns it on its head with these special tiles. These special tiles really changed the game. Yeah. Because there was a point when Tico and I were playing where Tico almost owned the entire board, but I ended up winning, I think it was eight tiles to four by the time four. we were done. And before the last tile, you owned the entire board. I owned the entire board before your last move. Before my last move. You threw a flower on, flipped some over. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't matter that the who's winning at any moment in the game because of the special tiles that really changes the game. Yeah. Uh, and there's there's some incredible strategy in this. Like you're really it's kind of that 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 chess mentality of where where do I want to go because yeah. if I if I go there, yes, I may flip over his tile, but then it gives him the ability to flip over even more next turn. Right. So you really want to look ahead at what you're about and, to do. And you may want to place something somewhere like, okay, I'm going to place this here because then it's going to cause you to want to flip that. Like you want to sort of lead somebody down that path. Yeah, then, lure them into a trap. And then all of a sudden, like, oh, you've just flipped over all of those and taken control of that whole thing. And then, Boom, there's a flower. Flowered. Yeah. And, and now Except you don't it. throw it. If you can land it dead on, you should get extra bonus. Points. Bonus Like points. it should be like a, an ex flower, like the pollen spreads further. It goes it, the whole board becomes yours. Yeah, yeah. No, I, that's I like not a it. that's not a rule. Um, it could be. It's the Tico rule. Yeah. Anyway, that is Hibernation. Um, definitely check this out. It's coming to Kickstarter mid April. Uh, so um, yeah, it's 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 great. It's I fun. I really really enjoyed it. I played it several times. Uh, and I actually won all the times, so that's probably why I really like it. 
Yeah, I won. it doesn't happen often for you. So it doesn't. Yeah. If I can win a game, it's all great. Anyway, that is hibernation. Thanks for watching Flipping Tables. Uh, we'll see you next time. What was that? Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, we'll see you next. I'm trying to be cool, and I'm just not cool. Be in your throat. <laughs> that would be. Bzz, see you next. Bzz, bzz, see you next time. Should have left our phones on silent, just going off halfway through the.